Did I did I not dream this? Did this happen? It's not a lie. <laughs> if you believe it. <laughs> no, it, it all happened. It was so crazy yesterday. What the hell going on? It's so ridiculous. And you were there? And you were there. And you were there, and, and you, you were there, there, and I was here. And you what were there. What the hell's going on out here? Pretty much. That happened. Yeah, pretty, pretty Within a span of an hour yesterday. Nuts. UCLA and USC are in the Big Ten. The Pac-12 is essentially done. There is a Midwest-based college football and basketball and sports conference that now includes a team in New Jersey and two teams in California. UCLA and USC... Starting in 2024, if they make the Rose Bowl, they'll make the Rose Bowl as the Big Ten team. The hell going on? (laughs) And Kevin Durant saying on one Friday, June 24th, eh, it's all just conjecture. You know, it'll all work out when the time's right. Well, the time comes up for him to work out and to beat it on down the road. How's that playing in New York, I wonder? (laughs) Well, let's see how it's playing on the back page of the New York Post. Oh, KD demands trade from Nets. Thin man has no heart. Durant (laughs) begs out after a single playoff series win for $119.3 million. Oh, so it's playing like that. Thin man. Thin man. That's hilarious. God, the post is the best. Of course, the the post puts Jalen Brunson in the top. Born to Brun. Nice one. Nice. Nice. Baby, we were born. The headline writers never just born to Brun at the post. Reference to the New Jersey boss, just like Kyrie. <laughs> He's a New Jersey boss. Like Tony? Why did Durant opt out? Why? Because Kyrie's opting in. Did that mean he's opting out? Why did Durant opt out? Is it because Ben Simmons, he wants no piece of that guy? He wants no piece of Steve Nash. He wants no piece of Brooklyn. What is happening? Because Durant, Kyrie, Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, and a trade that uh, our friend Brian Windhorst brought to light on uh, first take this morning, causing him to go on in a very interesting uh, jag about how keep an eye on Utah because Utah traded away Royce O'Neal to the Nets. This was a trade that was... Woj bombed five minutes before the ultimate Woj bomb that blew everything up in Durant world. Saying that the Utah Jazz trading away a very good young 29-year-old player to the Nets. He's there too. Why would Durant say I'm out? Why would he want to be out? What is up with that? It's wild. (laughs) It is totally wild. The Brooklyn Nets, three years ago yesterday, announced Kyrie and Durant, and this is all over with just one playoff series win. One, they waited for Durant to get healthy. They waited for Kyrie to come around so that he could play together with Durant. They get Harden too, and then trade him away. So the Nets are left with Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, I guess, Royce O'Neal, Steve Nash. It's now your job. And this is a team that had Spencer Dinwiddie and D'Angelo Russell. They were doing some good things there. Karis LeVert. Remember him? Kenny Atkinson, they had a really good coach. They had a bunch of young players with chemistry, and they just went kaboom. Because and not who Ky- stepped in the room, Kyrie yeah. and not who later. stepped in the room, dude. I don't <laughs> know. Kyrie man. and Durant said they're coming, and all of a sudden, all these young guys' picks gone. And now what? For, Nick's, no- for nothing. Nick's coming off a highly disappointed season, and their future looks brighter than the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> the hell going on? I mean, I still say, guys, my my idea of merging the two franchises. <laughs> why not give it a try? What's the Chris? What's the worst that could happen? I'm not sure. You know, I mean, I was like kind of tongue in cheek asking. Did, yeah, did Durant screw Good up? Good one, by, gents. By picking the the Nets over the Knicks. No, he screwed up by choosing the 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 Nets over the Warriors. He should have stayed put. 
Well, like Chris said earlier, we he should have stayed put. Uh, and that might not have been an option for him, I guess. Yeah, it just didn't seem like he got along with those guys, or maybe I one, guess or not. Maybe one guy. I don't know. I don't the know. loudest guy on the squad, it seemed like. Had I'll, issues and with I'll him. just say this though, hey, Kevin Durant, um, you know, because I, I know he sees a lot and he, you know, takes in a lot. That back page of Thin Man has no heart. First of all, New York Post. I think you're looking at the wrong net. Okay, that's number one. Number two. Number two is Pat Riley once got ran out of New York on a rail when he left the Knicks to go to the Miami Heat. Headline of gutless. Called him gutless, quitting on New York. How's it worked out for Pat Riley? As a matter of fact, (laughs) you know where I think Durant should go. Miami. That's where he should go. Not just to prove me correct, but I think that's a a fit. And I think the, the Heat are probably... And he couldn't just say the Heat are bending over backwards trying to figure this thing out. Every franchise in the NBA, every last franchise in the NBA has got to take their YOLO shot. Everyone. Your Sixers, Chris, your Celtics absolutely should take that shot. You know, run it back. Get Big Poppy. And I don't think Brady would, would wind up uh, on Long Island this time for that. You remember that, that, that Hamptons I know. wooing tour that wound up with him going to Golden yeah, State? between us and Golden State. Big Poppy came there. They try to they try to get it. They try to roll it out for Durant. Instead, they got the wrong guy in Kyrie. That's the guy that the headline writer should be all over. But he's the one who opted in. I mean, and maybe his opt in is for Durant to opt out again. There's this huge iceberg, <laughs> and we just see this little part, very very top. Kyrie's, what's going Kyrie's on opt-in now probably makes it easier for him to get traded to the Lakers, which is where it seems like he wants to go. And now you're hearing that the Lakers are going to try and get a package deal of both Kyrie and Durant. You know, <laughs> to, to quote, to quote, I don't know who they're going to give up. I don't know what they're going to give up. West House, wait. I don't know, brother. How? I mean, the rumors, the rumors are flying everywhere. I have no idea, which means, hey, maybe Durant opt didn't, didn't demand a trade because Kyrie opted in. It's just that they both got together and say, let's both get the hell out of here. Yo. Who knows? Nobody knows anything. Durant again said on his podcast one week ago today. It's just rumors. It's just conjecture. There's no. There's nothing to see here. Move on. And then he gone. But I mean, the only thing that apparently <laughs> came together quicker than the he gone was USC and UCLA, <laughs> where there were talks. <laughs> there were talks. They, they then on Tuesday they pick up a phone. Hey Kevin Warren, you Big Ten will take us. Will, will, will you take it? I don't know. Why don't you apply? Will you apply? Have you applied? <laughs> Have you applied yet? Because there's an application. You need to put in an application. And then I'll forward the application to presidents and chancellors, and then we'll figure it out. They already voted. Heck, how convenient. How did you do today? What did you do today? That's like that Kramer line from Seinfeld. Talking about, you know, you could, then you come home and you talk about your day. Then USC and UCLA talked about their day. How would you like to join the Big Ten? Big Ten, will you take us from the Pac-12? Oh, yes, we will take you. And then all of a sudden, application, get on the phone. We're Zooming with chancellors and team and, and school presidents and the Big Ten, and boom, USC and UCLA are starting to play in the Big Ten in 2024. And if they make the Rose Bowl, they'll be the Big Ten team. <laughs> just saying that is so it's nuts uh, it could be usc versus utah in the rose bowl and it'll be like yeah remember they played each other for 10 straight years i saw a great picture someone on twitter put a, a big uh, shot of the santa monica pier and they wrote big 10 country big, <laughs> it is <laughs> It now is. You know, I got a text from Greer saying, how's it like to live in Big Ten country? <laughs> it's great. He texted me last night. How does it feel to live in Big Ten country? I'll tell you what. Feels good. 80 and sunny. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you. Because, schools again, are snowy. because Michigan will be playing UCLA and USC every year. Which That's makes you not, happy. You can add those two teams to the got to play Michigan every year list because Michigan has to play these guys because Michigan is marquee. Take that, everyone else. Yeah, but it's not like USC or no. UCLA have been powerhouses Dude, recently. They're coming on a schedule, so you, I'm, I'm in. I'm, I'll, I'll go down to the Coliseum. Hell yeah! I'll yeah. go to the Rose Bowl, <laughs> one of my awesome. favorite places on planet Earth. Did my run there this year? It'd be great. I'll go. It might let you flip a coin at a game. Oh, no, why not? Why shouldn't you? Keep it fair. Keep it fair. Keep it fair. <laughs>